What's up guys? My name is Brandon. I'm one of the three awesome gamers and I just got this uh, gameplay a little bit ago. I was playing with Redneck and uh, a couple of uh, a couple of my friends including Save Us Roma and I'm gonna warn you right now. This is a mediocre gameplay. This is a terrible gameplay, but it's sort of an experiment. Okay, so it it was terrible kill death wise, but I did a good I guess doing team player stuff but it's mediocre. It's, I'm not going to call it a YouTube game. I'm not going to say it's good. I'm not going to pretend that it's good. It's terrible. I break even, and I, I guess I do a pretty good job at being a team player. But this is an experiment just to see if gameplay matters. Will you watch this video because I get good gameplay or because it's good commentary? You know, it's... I'm going to try to do my best to make this a really good commentary and just, you know, see how the, see how this whole thing pans out. But anyways, I figured I would talk about uh, Coney again. So there's been a lot of, you know, stuff coming up with Coney, like Joseph Coney, maybe the whole thing's fake, maybe it's just for money. Uh, I, I've been hearing a lot. I haven't had any, like, actual solid proof yet. Like, I saw this one chick, she, I, I heard this video, this girl said, well, you he can't be real. He can't be doing this because he's uh, born. He was born in Uganda. Uh, I hate to break it to you, hun, but if I, I'm I'm I was born in the United States, does that mean that does that mean I can't be a terrorist against the United States? No. I can still you know have hatred towards my own country. Doesn't matter. So that theory is you know, yeah, probably not the best one, and. Another one I've been, well, I've seen this picture, and I can't tell if it's photoshopped or not. I haven't been able to find the original, like, posted by Invisible Children. But it's basically three of the guys from Invisible Children, all standing with guns, posing with uh, Joseph Coney and some of the members from the LRA. And I, I just cannot tell if that picture is real. I, I can't tell if it was, like, Joseph Coney was photoshopped in, if the guys were photoshopped in. I can't tell if it's actually real, like, I've been, I've looked for a solid hour, and I just could not find the original image, and I checked all the, like, the official websites for, uh, Invisible Children, but I just could not find the image, so, either, I'm guessing it's fake, or somebody posted it who actually got a hold of the picture, and that, if it's real, that's crazy, that would, that would be, like, quite the, uh, quite the picture, you know, the guy that you're supposedly hunting, you're posing in a picture with, uh, they probably, they, I don't think they were thinking that through, you know, taking a picture with a guy, like, no, that's the last thing you want to do, even if you think you're going to keep it to yourself, someone could, you know, let it out, and, uh, I, another thing that I heard was that the, uh, only 32% of the profits went to charity when the other 68% went to uh, Invisible Children. And a lot of people are like, oh my god, so wrong. Most of it, if not all of it, should go to uh, the actual cause. And my, my view on it is, okay, yeah, I think more should go to it. But on the other side, think about it. Think about how much all the stuff costs to travel, to all the equipment used for producing it, the actual time that they spent producing it, and I don't really see a problem with it taking a profit, I think they should take a little bit less of that, you know, maybe 50-50, if not a little bit less than that, because the money that they made is, like, astounding, I'm not actually sure, like, the actual numbers, but I just know that it's astounding numbers, they've got the video, last time I checked, which was earlier today, had 56 million views, and they're not even running uh, ads on it, which they could be making a huge profit by running ads, but they're not. So, um, yeah, I, I'm guessing that this whole thing's real. You know, okay, um, a little bit more about the uh, percentage. Think about it. Do you think, do you think thirty percent's better than zero percent? You know, any money helps, and even if they're cutting it short, I think that they should. Uh, yeah, I, I think that. 30% is fine compared to no money going to the cause, so, yeah, um, and the last reason why I think this isn't real is because, think about how far this has gone, it's, 
the video, like I just said, last time I checked it earlier today, it had 56 million views. I'm sure it's over 60 million views by now, and it's quickly rising. Do you think they create all this stir over something that's not even real? I, if it was fake, I'm sure the video would have been taken down by now, or like the whole program would have been stopped, like arrests made, possibly would have been made. I just think that you know it's like a lot, like it's too far to joke around about or to scam about. So that's probably the main reason why I'm thinking it's real. I don't think people are just you know going out scamming in this large of a like with all this media attention and you know like people focused on them i don't think that's the best way to scam people i think it's better to keep it like undercover so <sighs> but that's just my thoughts what do i know i'm just a stupid freshman i guess and uh, the last thing that's been bugging me about this is that a lot of people are talking about the situation and they don't even know a whole lot about it. Like, they, some people don't even know where Uganda is on a map. Which is pretty sad, but it's the truth. They hear about something and they're like, oh my gosh, blah, 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 I'm a big part of this. No, just quit. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Pretty good, like, fight, but not that great of a gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, keep posted on Kony. I'll probably do some more videos about it in the future. But anyways, I'll talk to you all later.